we're here today um, chatting to Jay from Jay Birds Locks, and we're just going to ask a few questions. What I want you guys to understand is that these are going to be a regular thing, and um, we're going to promote Jay's business for the next month, so it'll be online and it will be also in the Facebook page, and I really want us all to get involved in that. So, <laughs> so we've got Jay, we've got Hi. Bon, <laughs> Nazzy. So Jay, how long have you been doing locks? Well, I was thinking about that the other day, and I'm not sure if it's six or seven years. Yes, I've been a hairdresser qualified for 11 years. How did that um, integrate like um, locks into hairdressing? Was that like an easy move forward? Well, I guess it was in the sense that I understood how hair worked, but in a sense, hairdressers don't think of dreadlocks as hairdressing. Well, because wax, we all know what that does to hair, given locks such a bad name for themselves. That was part of why I wanted to get dreadlocks as well. I lost a client over yeah. getting them. One woman was really, you know, telling me that she was like, oh, surely you're not going to do that. Oh, and I yeah. said, oh, you wouldn't leave me if I did, would you? And she's, <laughs> she's like, oh, no, don't be ridiculous like this. She came back the next appointment. I had dreadlocks. Oh. I never saw her again. Oh, <laughs> my God. Yeah. I spent the first couple of years with them showing everyone, come smell my hair, touch yeah, it. You know, yeah, like I was a yeah, free range yeah, over the yeah, 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 yeah. When I started approaching hairdressing um, companies about doing it, it was like, I got banned. You can make locks that um, are washable. You can make locks that are dyeable. And that's why I chose to go with you guys in the yeah. end, because it's care for hair. And I've always been a hairdresser that cares for hair. So yeah. doing this and knowing that you can actually brush it out and have somewhat actual, like quite a lot of length and in quite good condition after yeah. good condition. Yeah. Well, we had a client contact us the other day. She got her dress done eight years ago, Heidi, and she um, oh, yeah. went and had them brushed out and her hairdresser actually said to her, I cannot believe mm. how good your hair is. Yeah. She barely had to cut anything yeah, off. Like, when you think about the way that we do our dreads, yes. the inside layer of the hair is actually protected That's exactly from a right. layer of hair around yeah. the outside. It's oh, like yeah. wrapped up yeah. hair. Tell us a little bit about like your clientele. You live in the country. I would imagine there's a lot of stigma in country towns. It's a lot more personal. What's the worst dread job you've done? <laughs> or lock job. I would have had to have been the one that I did the other day. Yeah, the one you oh, put yeah. up on the site. That was incredible. Oh, yeah. It was a year and a half since I'd seen her, a bit over oh. a year and a half. Yeah. And you know, she's she's not a ready person. She's a nurse, you know, yeah. like and it just was bad habit. Putting Literally putting it putting up, dreads up. Up, up, up. Oh, and look right. when it was up, you couldn't tell that it was like no. that at the back. No, no, yeah. And it actually right. looked pretty amazing yeah. when it was up, you know, yeah. but then you pull it out and goodness. Oh, I think it is yeah. important to talk about that because I think a lot of people don't realise when they haven't had base maintenance and they put their hair up in a tight lackey band or whatever, mm. spir even a spiral lock, anything, mm. the hair's literally friction mm. and it's constantly moving. The whole yeah. back of her head was just a big tube <laughs> of hair. So there was like this whole layer yeah. inside there, yeah. but it hadn't breathed or seen yeah. any air yeah. for such a long so time. So the scalp ended the thing up with like gets... psoriasis caked yeah. on it. Well, it's, it's not things. the hair that we're concerned about, it's the scalp conditions. That's exactly yeah. what I think also there are a lot of locticians out there who, you know, have just gone on YouTube and, you know, they go, oh, yeah, I can do locks, but they don't think about, they haven't studied the scalp or mm. trichology or... Mm. Or anything. Um, you wouldn't go. You wouldn't look at Nazzy's hair and go, "Oh, I'll just go on YouTube and learn how to do that." <laughs> if you can find the video, you can try. With small business, like clientele, and gaining that clientele as a small business, um, in my mind, it's about quality work. And is that what you found in your business in the country? Yeah, yeah for sure. And I have people about... three and a half hours about away travel. Wow. Yeah, mm -hmm. there you go. Because yeah. I've had a lot of people say it's impossible to run a, a dreadlock business in the country. That's not impossible. No. It's a little extra legwork. Like mm -hmm. you've got to search for them. It's not just yes. how you do hair. You've got to be able to, because you're with them for hours at yeah, a time. So right. you're, yeah. and you're literally yeah. on top of them. So yeah. You, yeah. you've got to be able to hold a conversation. No, when they don't feel like talking, it's okay not to. You can have yeah. you know, comfortable mm -hmm. silences. you got to understand body language. Oh, yeah. To the hairdresser having silent appointments. Oh, yeah, I'm cool with not talking to. I talk all fucking Some enough. people will ring me and say, I've got a child that wants to get dreadlocks. What would your idea be around an age on that? <laughs> consent's consent. So whether the parents want it done or not. You know, it's, it's always up to the parent. Yeah. I do a little trial moment. The youngest I've had is eight. He was amazing. And he yeah. had him for probably five years and then he shaved him off. Yeah. I He's think it just him. depends on the kid. You've got to come in and have a trial run and just do one and say, okay, yeah. this yeah. is going to go for a really long time. Do you think it's a good style for kids to have? No. 
Yeah. No, I don't. Yeah. Because the hair is so immature. Yeah. Like you've got to be so cautious that you're making those bases small enough. Yeah. The next stage of hair comes through, they don't bulk out it's because they're not yeah. dropping the adolescent hair. That's a really good point. So what are some um downfalls about running your own business? There's a lot. There's a lot. <laughs> I think the main one being in a country town is the spotlight you're under. You're under yeah, a very yeah. critical spotlight. It's more about your behaviour. It's going to get spoken about. You know the oh, yeah. focus of the community. I don't. Know, I never thought about it as running a business. It's just my job. My the money that I made from it wasn't just my money. It was a business's yeah. money. If yeah. you think like that, you'll never fall behind. So they just think, oh, this money's all coming in, but they're yeah. not thinking about the other elements mm. that need to happen. So have you ever had anyone say to you that they have found red backs in their hair, or they know a friend that's got a red back in their hair? The stories are out there. I even heard one on Triple J the other day that there actually was a nest of red backs in this guy's hair that were, like, when he was scratching at it, he was getting really itchy, and next minute he was getting headaches and ended up at the bloody ER, and they looked in there, and there was apparently a nest in there. Oh, well, you've never seen In 20 million years of doing dreading, mm. I've never seen um, egg or spider egg mm. or anything. Mm. Just wash your hair. Yeah. Just look after your dreads. <laughs> And and I'm pretty sure you're not gonna actually no. find any spider. Nids don't mind reds too. Rubber okay. Bands. <laughs> Rubber bands. If you find a client that actually has nits, one of the things that we would say to our staff is, look, it does happen every now and again. Mm. Um, yeah, but don't tell the whole salon that no. it's like 20 people sitting in there because people do get embarrassed by it. Yeah, it's not fair. It's, it's not, not your fair. Own. It's not it's fair. Not. Even it's offer them to treat their hair. Yes. There's an add-on. Yeah. For cost. Where, yeah. Where can we find you? I'm in Deneliquin, which is in New in South Wales. New South it's, Wales. It's about 75 k's north of the Achuca border. Um, thanks so much, Jay. It's been what really nice back? chatting with you, and I'm really looking forward to seeing the rest of the dreads that you make. You always do a fantastic job, and also fabulous.